Assalamualaikum, dear students of class 11. Today our topic is where the mind is without sleep, without care. Uh, it is written by Rabindra Nath Tagore. We know Rabindra Nath Tagore was born in 1861 and passed away in 1941. He was a gifted Indian poet. He was a philosopher and the first Indian Nobel Prize winner in literature. He, <clears throat> he tried to he tried to deepen the mutual understanding between between the Indian and the Western Western culture. Western culture. Ego wrote primarily in Bengali. He wrote uh, basically he wrote in Bengali his mother tongue. But you know he translated many of his work into English himself. Critical say that in original, that means in Bengali, they are very, very effective. When he published Gitanjali, Tagore fame, his reputation, it became worldwide. Tagore's writing is highly imagistic. Emergency, you know, it means based on precise thinking. His writing is deeply spiritual, sacred, and his writing is imbued with or inspired by his love of nature and his homeland, that is India. You know, this boy is about a picture of free India, an ideal India. It is a patriotic song as well as, uh, as, well as prayer. It is a prayer for an all-round progress, development and prosperity of Tagore's motherland. It is also a poem of invocation. The poet prays. The poet prays for the poet prays for the country. For the country and for the countrymen. That is the Indian. He, he wished for a free India or an ideal India where the natives are fearless, they learn to be self-respecting, where knowledge is free, where the society is not divided into sections on the basis of religion or caste uh, where the people are where the people are truthful where the, uh, um, they speak from the core of heart uh, he will he wish the people should struggle toward perfection towards perfection. He thinks the Indian people of independent India should have should have knowledge or faith based on logic. It should not be lifeless. It should be interesting. He says 
says where the mind is led forward by thee, he prays to God to, let, <coughs> to guide the mind of the Indian for dynamic for dynamic and progress for dynamism and progress so that they can have freedom on uh, India uh, becomes a place of eternal will. He prays to God to make his countrymen away, to make his countrymen area. So this poem, it is a poem of invocation. It is also a poem about patriotism. It is also a play for our own development of India or prosperity of India. Now, dear students, now let us first, first read the poem. Oh, your page number is 84 and 85. 84 and 85. Yes, yes, students. Now let us read the poem. The poem begins with you. Why the mind is without fear? This very line is, this very first line is the title of the poem. Why the mind is without fear and the head is held high? Why knowledge is free? Why the world has not been broken up? into fragment by narrow domestic wall where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arm toward perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit while the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that even of freedom my father let my country awake yes dear students Now let us try to understand the poem. Why the mind is without fear and head is held high. The poet, um, the poet in a spire, the poet wishes his motherland free. And after freedom, what should be the qualities? What should be the traits of the citizens of India or free India? Why the mind is without fear and the head is held high? Poet wishes his citizens to be, his country to be, uh, to be, uh, to be of those people whose mind is fearless, whose mind is fearless and head is held high. यानी वो क्या होने चाहिए बे वहाँ के लोग बेखौफ होने चाहिए और जो सर वो ऊंचा 
رکھ کے چلنا چاہیے اٹ مینز دے شڈ بی سیلف ریسپیکٹنگ مائنڈ از ہیڈ از ہیلڈ ہائی یس وائر نالج از فری فری انڈیا شڈ بی سائک وائر نالج از فری نالج کین بی اوپنڈ بائی اینی ون ویدر پور اور رچ while the world has not been broken up into segments by narrow domestic walls free india should be such a world that is not been that is not that is not been that should not be divided or broken into segments into pieces by narrow domestic walls it means there should not be narrow mindedness there should be there should not be narrow minded domestic walls like casteism like casteism or there should not be barriers like uh like uh, uh blinded path yes why are words come out from the depth of truth oh citizen should be psych that be should be truthful where words come out from the depth of truth where words come from the core of heart it means people should be truthful they should be sincere again where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection the other people should be like that they should they should struggle they should on uh, they should try they should try stretchly uh stretch sorry stretch it means stretch it should extend its arms towards perfection now uh, it means they should be led towards perfection towards free from uh, towards like a situation that should be free from all defects wo tamam kotahiyon se defect se kya hona chahiye ha paak hona chahiye tireless striving means endless trials endless attempts endless attempts yes students now on page number 85 why are the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit yes students yes students <coughs> yeah free india yeah in or india india thought by uh thought by the poet it should be said that they they should have knowledge based on logic on that stream of reason the clear stream of reason clear stream of reason or logic it should not lost its way yani ye gum nahi hona chahiye into what into dreary desert sand of dead habit it should not be dreary dreary means lifeless dreary means monotonous yes it should not be dreary dull boring or dismal it should not be lifeless ah uh, dear we should not be lost into lifeless desert 
you know what is desert desert means a land without vegetation whether it is hot or cold ha huh. dear dear we should not be lost lost into the dreary desert sand of bad habits bad habits you know it means it should not be your your thought should not be unprogressive Dear thought should not be old and useless. In Urdu we can say वो परसों तक ख्याल नहीं होने चाहिए. Yes, but they should be interesting. Ah, uh, they should be refreshing. They should not be dull or boring. Again, students. while the mind is led forward by the into our widening thought and action the indian student indian citizen should be said that the ideal citizen should be that their mind is led forward by the oh uh, almighty should guide their mind guide their mind guide their mentality that forward means guide uh it should be guided by d d in old english means you here it means god ha uh, their mind should be their mentality uh, mentality should be led by god into what into ever widening thought and action ever widening ever widening means always expanding ever widening means dynamic and progressive ये हमारे जहाँ भी होनी चाहिए और तरक्की पसंद भी होनी चाहिए उनकी उनका जो सोच है एंड एक्शन और उनकी जो अमल होनी चाहिए यस देर इज डैश इट इज फॉर हाँ इट इज फॉर एक्सप्लेनेशन यस स्टूडेंट हाँ दी एंड एवर वाइडनिंग थॉट एंड एक्शन इन टू दैट हेवन ऑफ फ्रीडम heaven you know it means paradise or it means a place of eternal bliss lazawal namto ki jagah dhaimi namto ki jagah it means a safe a safe place it means a safe place so india should be a safe place it should be it should have freedom of all types my father oh my god Let us pray. Here it is an invocation. Oh, my father, let my country, let my country away. Let my country, let my mother land away. It means away from sleep. Or it should, it means my country should become aware, aware of what blind facts are there. Oh, it should be become aware of what are the fruits of being logic, or what are the fruits of failure to see more reason. Yes, students. Now let us try to understand the questions that follow. We have the point, or you know, point using various expressions in this point to communicate different things to express. Now. There are some explanation given in the circle, and in column A there are explanation around the point, and in circle there are their explanation. Now what we have to do? We have to locate the explanation to these expressions from the point. Ah, uh, dear students, these expressions are given on page eighty-five. And their explanations are given in circles on page eighty-six. Hope you will be. Hope you are attentive. 
the head is held high this expression means people live with dignity and self respect log izzat ke sath shaan ke sath aur zaati izzat ke sath rahe now second the world has not been broken up into fragments into fragments it means the human society is not divided into groups on the basis of religion on the basis of caste etc etc third while tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection yes it means people make continuous efforts to achieve perfection in all walks of life in all aspects of life yes students fourth the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of bad habits yes it means conservatism which may make people unprogressive and directionless as in a fearful desert does not destroy reason yes last one the mind is led forward by the end ever widening thought and action yes student it means the actions and thoughts of the people are guided by god are guided by god yes student now answer these questions briefly what kind of freedom does tagore in his stage for his country you know in his stage means desire for future oh what kind of freedom does it does tagore does the poet in his stage for his country so he desires his country men without fear Oh, they should be self-respecting. Knowledge should be free. There should not be division on the basis of caste or religion. Oh, they should be sincere. They should be truthful. They should struggle continuously, endlessly. Oh, their knowledge, their action should be based on reason. uh india should have be a place of place of eternal bliss or place of safety for all what harm can be caused by blind faith how can we get rid of blind faith yes what harm can be caused by blind faith blind faith it hinders progress it but becomes a barrier in the way of progress we can get rid of blind faith to knowledge to reason what is central idea of the poem the central idea of the poem you know is indian should be patriotic they should be brave they should be fearless they should be educated they should respect each other they should respect themselves there should be criminal harmony and all after all they should be guided logic and free from old and bad custom now there are poetic techniques yes dear students you know imagery means words or phrases that appeal to our sense or which create a picture in our mind you know imagery is of various kind imagery can be can be related to sight yes related to sound related to taste related to smell or related to touch related to touch yes students
now let us locate some examples of imagery from our soil here is one example clear stream of his that dreary desert sand of dead habit mind is led forward head is held high the depth of depth of truth yes now reference to the context the reference is why the clear stream of reason has not lost its way up to our widening thought and action now question how does the poet contrast reason and adherence you know reason is progress reason is progress you it brings us it brings us knowledge and improvement but dead habit dead habit it is lifeless it is unprogress why does the poet use the expression dreary desert sand oh he wants his countrymen to abandon the unprogressive path and adopt new ways of life who does the poet refer to as the in these lines oh he refers to god now second part while the world has not been broken up into fragments up to it is or the stretches of arms towards perfection yes students what does the poet imply by narrow domestic world yes he means that indians should not be divided into groups on the basis of social evils like casteism or narrow minded fact what evil can be perpetrated by these walls yes such narrow domestic walls they can weaken a country they can endanger freedom the third line of the stanza where words come out from the depth of truth yes it uh, suggests that people should speak what people should speak what is being suggested oh it suggests people should speak the truth what is being suggested it suggests we should abandon falsehood how can people achieve perfection when people act with reason try on and try hard try hard they can achieve perfection now dear students speaking and writing what according to you are the problems that your country face you know our country faces problems like illiteracy casteism criminalism regionalism poverty economic backwardness price hike etc how can these problems be over in simple words these problems can be can be overcome if we have knowledge if we are educated if we are broad minded if we are aware about these problems for example poverty poverty can be overcome if people know what are the causes of poverty and government provides them with some privilege people can overcome illiteracy if they are provided free education people can overcome casteism if they have a broad knowledge broad thinking or oh, people can overcome the the blind page number 87 
page number 87 here people can overcome the evil of religion if, if they have knowledge and know that our country is one India is one they should they should discard the notion of regionalism. They should believe in one India. Discuss the problem and the solution within, sorry, within your group and write a short speech on the topic. I have a dream. Yes, students. The topic, I have a dream. It can be different. It depends on the on the th on the thought of a participant or a student or a student If you think yourself as a patriotic Indian, then you know, then you can write, I wish my country to be free from poverty, free from hunger, free from economic backwardness. I wish my country's defense forces must be strong. I wish India to be, to be well managed, well governed. There should be democracy in all forms in the India of my dreams I like to have all round improvement in the country I want Indians to have a national character they should have love for country uh, their education should be spread all over economy should be strong to get rid to get rid of our backwardness and poverty. Of poverty, if we, if it is possible if we get rid of corrupt leaders, We should create awareness among people so that they know who is working for the country and who is looting India. I want institutions of the country to work for the welfare of the common people and not defend the corrupt, not to defend the corrupt leaders. I have a dream about my country, but I have doubts about the ability of Indians to steer clear of all the evils afflicting the country. Then, evils like corruption, crimes, and other malpractices will be easily cleaned. That is, that is my dream. That is my dream. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today, students, I feel it is it is enough. I feel it is enough. 